Hi guys, how are you? Welcome. Good Hello, good evening, Emerson. Hello, good evening, Bridget. Hello, Cecilia, good evening. How are you? Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Jocelyn. Good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. Yeah, I'm fine. Good, good evening. Good. good evening. Happy to have you. Hello, hello, Sylvia. Hello, hello, Karen. Hello, Elvis. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Erica. Thank you. Hello. Welcome. Hello, Morena. Hello, Irma. How Hello. are you, Glenda? Welcome. Bienvenidos. Hello, Cecilia. Hello, Brian. Hello, Jaime Roberto. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome, Carmen. Hello. Welcome, Santiago. Welcome, Gladys. Welcome, Eduardo. Welcome, Zuleima. Welcome, everybody. Hello, teacher. Well, you're welcome. Hello, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, what is a question that you ask somebody you just met? ¿Qué es una pregunta que le haces a alguien que acabas de conocer? How are you? How are you? How are you? Okay, how are you? Another one? What's your name? Where are you from? Where What's are you name? from? What's your name? Another question? How are you? How are you? Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to share with you uh, some questions. I want you to, we're going to ask and respond these questions in pairs. I would like for everybody to look at the WhatsApp group and you are going to see uh, some questions there. Do you see the questions? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yes, yes, teacher. All right, repeat, please. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Where do you live? Where do you work? Where do you work? What's your profession? What's your profession? What do you do in your free time? What do you do in the free time? Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're, I'm going to put the uh, the questions here in the chat. There you go. Okay. Uh, what do you do in your free time? What's your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite restaurant? Your restaurant. What's your favorite kind of music? What favorite Do you like salads? Do you like, like salads? What sure. are you doing right now? What, what are, you are you doing right, right now? now? Do you have any children? Do, do you have any children? How many children do you have? How many children do you have? Children do you have? Where, are you Where are you from? Where are you from? 
How old are you? Oh no, how old is your mother? How old how is your mother? When is your birthday? When, when is your birthday? birthday? What's your favorite food? What, what is your favorite food? Books? No, no books, food. food. What's your favorite food? Uh, food. Uh -huh. What's your favorite food? Pero podemos preguntar eso también. What's your favorite, favorite book? Book, correct. Okay, there it is. What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? What's, What's your favorite uh, um, food? Very good. Yes. What's your favorite food? Okay. We're going to add these two questions. Uh, what's your favorite book? And what's your favorite movie? What you're going to, we're going to ask, add those to the list over here. Okay. Let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. Wow. Only Hello. one, only one. Hi. Let me see, let me see. Okay, Elvis. Hi. Hi, Elvis, you are going to ask me the questions. All question? Yes, all okay. the questions. Okay. Michael, what's your name? Uh, my name is Ruben Santos, but everybody calls me Michael King. Michael King. Okay. How old are you? I am 40 years old. Uh, you can see on my chin that I have white hair. So I am 40 mm -hmm. years old. You are older. I am older, <laughs> yes. Where do you live? Uh, I live, in, do you know where is La Chulona Monument? La Constitución? Yeah. Okay, so I live in this area. El de las dos. Huh? El de las dos. Uh, Constitution, La Constitución. Uh, Camino a Popa Hijo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, Camino a Popa Hijo. Ahí, a, a la parte donde estaba la Génesis. Lo que pasa es que ya, en ya la te ubicaste. hay una y en la 75 hay otra. No, hijo, Ajá. la constitución es la constitución donde está la famosa chulona. Ok. Pero no es a Popa. Ok. Woman okay. no dress. Ok. <laughs> ok, thank you, thank you. Where okay. do you work, Michael King? Uh, well, actually, I have two jobs. Uh, I work, obviously, in Inglés Corporativo, teaching classes with the INSAFOR program. And I also work in a call center, call center in English in the United States, uh, buying properties. Okay. Uh, what's your profession? Uh, I have two professions. I am an English teacher and I am a real estate specialist. Especialista en bienes y raíces. Nice. Um, what do you do in your free time? Uh, in my free time, I like to go to the park and I like to walk. Uh, I like to meditate. I, I like to watch movies on Netflix, Amazon Prime. Uh, sometimes I go to La Gran Vía to the movies, to watch a movie in the big screen. Uh, I enjoy going shopping to the mall. Uh, I enjoy going to the beach, to the volcanoes, to the nightclub, to dance. Uh, I enjoy my free time. Do you have a lot of time? No, only the weekends. Only the weekends. Okay. Yeah, Monday, okay. Monday through Friday. It's not easy. <laughs> well, what's your favorite restaurant? 
Uh, I have a favorite restaurant. My favorite restaurant is, do you know Volcatenango? In Santa Tecla? In the volcano? Yeah. Okay. El Boquerón. El Boquerón. It's very expensive. Yes, it's very expensive, but it's my favorite restaurant. I like the place. I like the weather. The food is very delicious. Let me see what the name of this restaurant is. I went to this restaurant on, on Saturday, Saturday night, and I had dinner there, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's expensive, but it's delicious. Oh, okay. God. My next question, what's your favorite kind of music? Uh, well, I have different uh, kinds of music. It depends how I feel. Uh, usually I listen to uh, salsa. Um, I listen to merengue, bachata. I like a little bit reggaeton. Uh, I enjoy 80s rock music. Uh, not not really like Bad Bunny. I like more like, for example, La Bichota. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Linda Vista, Linda Vista Gardens. Yes. Yes. I like this Beethoven. Is... No, be though. Yes. This Next is... question. Yes. Do you like salads? Um. Honestly, honestly, not really. Uh, it's not my my preference salads but you know every now and then you know you eat a salad i prefer meat or tacos or burritos or or seafood you know shrimp or fish you know okay yeah um do you have any children uh, yes, I have two children. I have two boys, uh, Ruben Jr. and I have Romeo Santos. Uh, my children live in the United States uh, in separate states, but right now they are in school over there. Where are you from? Uh, I am originally from El Salvador. I was born in El Salvador. However, my family immigrated to the United States, Houston, Texas, when I was two years old. So I was raised in the United States, but I have been living in El Salvador for the past mm, 10 years, more or less. I have a business in El Salvador. Wow, okay. What is your birthday? Uh, my birthday was in April. It just passed. I am a man with white hair. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite, favorite food is Puerto Mariscos. I love mariscada soup. I love shrimp cocktail. I love fish with shrimp. I love it. Sometimes I go to El Mercadito de Merliot, but to go. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite book? Uh, my favorite book right now I, I am reading a book about natural medicine, herbs, and healthy lifestyle in English. My, my first language is English. So for me, it's easier to read in English than in Spanish. Spanish, I can read, but it's not so easy like English. English is more easy for me. Okay. And the last question, what's your favorite movie? Uh, right now, my favorite movie is 
from from I think it's in Netflix. It's called Nope. It's about an alien that is a, like an animal. It's a crazy movie. It's a science fiction. I enjoy science fiction movies. Okay. Thank All you right. for responding. All right. Uh, applause for Elvis for asking the questions. Thank you so much, Elvis. Okay, guys. So for this activity, I want everybody to practice. One student is going to ask the question and the other student is going to respond to the question. And then vice versa. The other student is going to ask the question and the other student is going to respond to the question. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Does anybody have any questions at this moment about this activity? No, I have the question. Okay. Everybody has, todos podemos compartir la pantalla cuando estén parejas y todos tienen las preguntas. If you finish, please yes. repeat. Si termina, repite. Ready? Let's go. Let's go, Gladys. Let's go, Fatima. Let's go, Irma. Let's go, Eduardo. Let's go, Bessie. Let's go, Laura. Let's go, Irma. Okay, me falta que entre Irma, Irma, Bessie. I'm sorry, teacher. Eduardo. Uh, sorry, teacher. What happened, Eduardo? No, creo que toqué ahí no sin querer queriendo y no ingresé. Okay, vamos a ponerlo otra vez. Okay. Go. Okay, solo me falta Irma y Betsy. Irma y Betsy. Okay, salió otra vez. Okay. Ok, Eduardo y Irma pueden trabajar en pareja. Ok. Ok, dice. Oh, vamos a ver si lo ponemos en el 10. Yes. Entra ahí. Irma, usted está en dos, me parece en dos partes, ¿verdad? Como que está con dos aparatos conectada. Irma. Noche. Teacher me dejó solo en la 12. Sorry about that. Aquí está con Fátima, Emerson, Glenda y Irma. Hi girls, how are you today? Hi. ¿Cómo están? Nice. No me, a, no me vayan a atacar, por favor. Dígame Glenda. <laughs> No, ¿puede usted compartir pantalla o mostrar las preguntas? Ah, oh, sí, pero, pero si quiere conectar el WhatsApp, ¿por qué no lo pongo? No se ve. Ahí está. ¿Sí? ¿A quién vamos a atacar primero? 
Vale, pues. Si quieren, comenzar. Vaya, bueno, pregunto yo y ahí, ahí vean quién responde. O les pregunto yo a ustedes. Vaya. O mejor yo. Vamos, le cuento, bueno. Vaya. Una a cada uno. Va. Vaya, Emerson, what's your name? My name is Emerson. Um, <laughs> quiero ver Irma Raquel, how old are you? I have 32 years. Vaya, Irma, solo que cuando usted diga su edad, no diga I have, porque eso es tener, tiene que decir yo soy. I am. Uh, I am. Uh, okay. That I is am correct. Head. That is correct. Uh, when? Um, I am. Fatima. <laughs> ah. eh, eres sí. el que responde. No se hace. <laughs> Bye. Let's continue. Irma. Yo. Okay. I, I am. Eso. Eh, Tiri tu chair. ¿Cuántos? Oh, I am here. ¿O oh, cómo? Sí. Me perdí. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Ah. 32. Sí. Yes. 22. No, 32. 32. 32. Fátima, where do you live? I live in Cincinnati. Em Emerson. Where do you work? I work in Calzado Cobra, S.A. de Sobre. Irma, what's your profession? I not, <laughs> I not have profession in this moment. Did you stay okay. home? Yes. Um, Fatima, what do you do? What do you in your free time? I am studying English. Emerson, what's your favorite restaurant? I don't have a favorite restaurant. Um, I like it to go to the food court. Is the más barata la comida. Irma, what's your favorite kind of music? My favorite music is romantic. Um. Fatima, do you have any children? Um, perdón, excuse me. Eh, what, ¿Cuál era la pregunta? No la escuché. Do you have any uh, children? How are you? I am... 36. Where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. That's you. City of woman. Precious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you work? I work in Crediavante. ¿Dónde? Crediavante. Mm. Y ese es como it's, donde dan crédito. Ajá, exacto. Mm. It's a bank, algo así. Mm. What's your profession? Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? 
Bueno, allá en manager, pero sería... Gerente. Ajá. Pero sería como... No, es mi, profesional, mi, mi profesión actualmente. What do you what do you do in your free time? Eh, I love it. Watch uh, watch Netflix, Netflix. <laughs> All day. <laughs> Termino una serie en el día. Si <laughs> tengo el día libre. <laughs> bueno. What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant in Santa Ana is La Pampa. What's your favorite kind of music? Uh, my favorite kind of music is um, romantic, pop. Do you like salad? Yes. I like What it. are you doing right now? Right now. Um, I am talking with you. <laughs> All intento. <laughs> oh, well. Do you have any children? Yes. How many children do you have? I am one, a girl. She's, she's beautiful. It's my love. Mm. Where are you from? <laughs> I am from El Salvador. Okay, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. All right, Morena and Elvis. Morena, ask the question. Elvis, respond to the question. Okay, teacher. Elvis, uh, what is your name? What is your last name? Okay, my name is Elvis Aníbal Rauta Torres. Okay, thank you. How old are you? I am 38 years old. 38? 38 years old. He's young. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where do you live? I live in Chalatenango City. Ah. It's nice, Chalatenango. Really? Pretty. <laughs> uh, where do you work? I work in a barber shop. Barber shop. <gasps> Qué mocho. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's your profession? I am a barber. <laughs> I am a barber. <gasps> It's good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I like watch movie, read, and stay at home. Do we say I like watch movies or I like to watch movies? I like to watch movie. Correct. Thank you. Okay. What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant is La Parrilla in Chalatenango. It's delicious. 
very delicious <laughs> and expensive too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, what your favorite kind of music? I like music, rock, salsa, uh, bachata. Uh, no more. Okay. In this case, it's not necessary for you to say, I like music. You can just say, I like rock. I like salsa. I like bachata. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Um, do you like salad? Yes, I like. I like salad and salad and uh, vegetable too. Do you like fish? Yes, I like. Ah, okay. Do you like pizza? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I like pizza. Okay. Uh, what are you doing right now? Uh, right now, uh, <laughs> I am in the English class. Mm -hmm. Talking with me. <laughs> yeah, talking to Morena Guadalupe. <laughs> yes. Um, do you have any children? Yes, I have. How many children do you have? I have one daughter. Okay, in this case, you're gonna say, do you have any children? Yes, I do. How yes, many do. children do you have? I have one daughter. Okay. Okay. Where are you from? I, I, I was born in Chalatenango and I live in Chalatenango too. Okay, when is your birthday? January 16. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, what's your favorite book? My favorite book is the Bible. Uh, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Cuestión de Honor. Ah, okay. It's, it's very nice movie. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Elvis. Nice to meet you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now we are going to change partners. Vamos a cambiar parejas. Ready? Let's go. Uh, let's go, Gladys. Let's go, Glenda. Let's go, Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Hello, Zulaima. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good, e good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Aleli. What's your okay. last name? Your first. <laughs> 
Uh, meat. Uh, meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what are you? Nos están sacando, okay. No, no. No, no, no. Solo, solo, solo monitoreando. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, repeat, please. What do you do in your free time? Okay. Um, I like um, visiting my mom. Um, your mom? Yeah. In yeah. Atikisaya? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite restaurant? I don't have restaurant. <laughs> I don't have the favorite restaurant. Oh, what kind of food do you like? What kind? Uh, repeat, please. What kind of food do you like? Mm, esa no la entendí. ¿Qué clase de, de comida te gusta? Ah, I like pupusas. Mm, I like hamburger. Hamburger. Ah. I like mm, chicken. <laughs> chicken. Yes. Okay. Vamos a ver, ¿qué más tenemos? Um, what's your favorite kind of music? My favorite music is um, bachata and salsa. Do you like dance? No. Okay. Um, what are you doing right now? No, perdón, falta otra. Uh, do you like salads? Mm, yes. Um, do you like vegetables? Mm, yes. Okay. Um, what are you doing right now? I talk with you and I study in English. Okay. Um, do you have any children? Um, what is it? Que si tienes hijos. Uh -huh. No. They um. Código tributario. All fine. All day. Oh, all day. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite movie? Um, uh, um, for general, I like a terror movie. General. Tell <laughs> do you have any um, children? No, I don't have any children. Uh, where are you from? I, I was born in Cuatepeque. When is your free time? Repeat, please. Uh, when is your free time? Free Ah, my birthday. Yes. Okay. Uh, my birthday is on September 
18. Okay. What's your favorite food? I, my favorite food are pastas and hamburger. Okay. What's your favorite book? What? Uh, my favorite book is Dracula. Okay. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Crown. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Hello, Marvin. Okay. Okay. What's your name? Hey, it's Marvin Fernandez. Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Where do you work? I don't, I don't work. Okay, what's your profession? I have a degree in science for education, but I study in architecture. Okay, what do you do in your free time? I like drawing, painting, and business. Okay, what's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Pasquale. Okay, what's your favorite cup of music? Rock. Do you like salad? I love it. I like to. Okay, what are you doing? All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please. Gladys. One volunteer. Gladys, let me have another volunteer. All right. Fatima and Emerson. Emerson, ask the question. Fatima, respond to the question. I'm ready. Fatima, what's your number? Number, number, number one. What is your, what's your name, Fatima? Um, my name <clears throat> is Fatima Esmeralda. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you like Sala? Uh, hello. Yes, I like. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What are you doing right now? Sorry. What are you doing right now? Um, I'm studying English. Yes. Um. Uh, remember me, what is your last name first? Your first last name? <clears throat> Repeat, please. What is your last name? The first last name. Last name. Um, is Asensio. Yeah. What is your favorite restaurant? La Pampa. It's expensive. <laughs> I like the food court. <laughs> it's expensive, but, but la delicious. Torta, la torta. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Fatima, when is your birthday? Yes, uh, May 11. That's it. Um, for finish. What's your favorite food? Favorite Bamba. food? <laughs> um, I like 
churrasco. Un pupusas. Tomás tip. Eh, la pampa finished, la, la pampa doesn't sell to todos <laughs> La Pampa sells ah, do you liar? steak. Are you a liar? <laughs> All right, let's continue, guys. Now for the next activity, I would like for everybody to look at the platform. We're going to go ahead and start from the platform, which is going to be coming from the intermediate one activity. I want for everybody to go over here in the platform. I want you guys to go to section intermediate module one, and then you're gonna click here at the bottom where it says section one. Todos necesitan estar allí en la plataforma. We're going to look at the first activity. For the first activity, we are going to be looking at section 1.0. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. For example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. Can me puede decir the meaning of background. ¿Qué quiere decir background? This word right here, background. Antecedentes. That's right. Tu historia. Donde has trabajado, tu educación. Excellent. All right, let's listen to the video, please. Todos es Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements either positive or negative as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago and we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past such as I didn't speak English then. Finally what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past and the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, it's slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. 
Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I have to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't, okay? And then this follows the verb, and then whatever it complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important, we're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did, and then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there, with the only difference now is that we don't have a WH word, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with did you and the verb in its present form take the complement is English classes in Argentina. There you go. Okay. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever 
you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be then we're going to think about the structure towards the right it's important not to get confused and so therefore i would like for you to answer the following questions as you can see sometimes i will use did and sometimes i will use the verb to be and the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. Okay, now for this activity, I would like for everybody to go to the platform and we're gonna be looking at section 1.2, knowledge check. And you are going to answer the questions right here, one through five in pairs. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready. All right. Yes, ready. Yes. Okay. Ready. Okay. All right. One student can share the screen. One student can share the screen. No me sale. Bueno, yo yo sí, estoy ya... en la plataforma, pero no me da, no me da, no me deja compartirla. Eh, tiene que darle share abajo en Zoom. Está un cuadrito verde que dice compartir con una flechita Exacto. para arriba. Yes, yes, yes. Intermedio. Aquí está ya. Ya lo hallé. Ahí está ya. Very good. Excellent. Very nice. I try to remember. Did she play soccer in high school? Uh, it was where? All right. Vaya, si quiere, eh, las leemos y, y ahí respondemos. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Who is the better soccer? response to this question? Did she play soccer in high school? No. no. She didn't ella jugó, play. Ella jugó fútbol en la escuela, algo así dice. No. Vaya, mm -hmm. allí yo... No, she, she didn't. No, she yes. didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Play basketball. The second. 
Next, show the best response to this question. When did you graduate from college? I got you. I graduated from college. I graduated from college. In 2005. No, sería I did, no. I did graduate. No, porque... Quiero ver. No, porque cuando yes, usamos el auxiliar, pero cuando usamos el auxiliar did, el verbo no debería de ir en pasado. All right. Entonces, mm. por eso pienso que es la segunda. I graduate... From sí, college, la segunda es away from college in mm -hmm. 2005. Okay. Bye. Right, the next oh, two the best question to match this response. I grew up. I, I grew up. Grew no. I grew up. Grew up. Grew up. Where, where did you grow up? La segunda que sabes. Sí, la segunda es. Where, where, where did you grow up? Ajá. Ajá. Tengo dudas en esa. Sí, no sé si la primera es la segunda. ¿eh? La primera es. Sí, ¿verdad? Where did you grow up? Sí, porque. En la well, segunda el verbo está en pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por eso, por eso es tenía, primera. por eso tenía oh. esa duda, porque está grow up. Grow up. Uh -huh. So, the best office. question to uh -huh. match the response. I began to study English two years ago. Okay. Mm. When did you begin to study English? When you begin to study English? Where, eh, la primera creo que es when la primera is, is when did you begin to study English? Right. Mm -hmm. sí, sería la the best response to this question. Did, did you have, have a pet, pet when you were a child? Did you have a pet when you were a child? No, I didn't have a pet. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You have to be the mascot. No, la última es yes. La última. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, I did. Sí. Veamos, veamos si, si, si a, le pegamos alguna. Todas están bien. Yes. Wow. Good, good job. You. Excellent. Congratulations. Oh, very good. Nice. It is, it is working in equipo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. Right? Karen, estás en la pantalla gigante. Ah. No me veo. Carecita. Hello. No, no te ves nombres y estás en todas las pantallas. ¿Verdad, Ceci? Que se ve C Karen ahí o no la ve en, en grande. Are you oh, ready? No. Oh, ah, ok. Ahí está el teacher. All right. Is everybody finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. We're going to stop right here. It's already time to go. Let's go ahead and check this activity together and then we finish. Let me have one volunteer for number one. Number one, the section two. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Excellent. Yes. Number two. It's in number number two. Number two, I graduated yes. from college in 2005. Number yes. three. Wow. First options. Where did you grow up? Good. Number four. When did you begin to study English? When did you begin to study English? First. 
And the last one, number five. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time's up, time's up. It's already time to go. Recuerden que pueden continuar trabajando los ejercicios en la plataforma. Ustedes pueden trabajar a su ritmo. Si usted tiene tiempo de trabajar en la plataforma, puede trabajar hasta que usted pueda. No hay límite. Any questions? All no, right. Thank Good job, everybody. Good job for the first day. Excellent work. Alguien le quería preguntar algo. Yes. Sí, teacher. Yes. 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 Yes.